Chapter 5 The Second Reunion Once the excitement over Barley and Ravenpaw faded, alongside the numb weariness of the previous day, ThunderClan and WindClan took a moment to share tongues and introductions. Fear clawed at Speckletail's heart as she met Thistlekit. He can't be more than two moons old. Where will he find a nursing queen for him? Hey! Thistlekit's tiny body bristled with indignation. I'm nearly three and a half moons! Practically an apprentice! His body was cream-colored, but his face and legs were brown with tabby stripes. Heather Whisker gave him a brisk but affectionate lick. Don't be rude, she's just worried for you. She's our clanmate now. Speckletail hesitated. She had been avoiding thinking about it, but she supposed that if either WindClan or ThunderClan were to survive, they would have to join together more permanently. An excited yowl came from the barn door. There are more cats coming! Sootkit hopped in excited circles. Is one of them Willow Pelt? Sorrelkit asked hopefully. Sootkit's excitement vanished. I... I couldn't tell. They're too far to see and the wind's not right to smell them. Speckletail sprang into action. Everyone, hide in the hay. Don't make a noise. They might be a blood clan patrol. They were going pretty slow, Sootkit protested, but was cut off as Dappletail bundled him and his littermates into a large pile of straw. A tense silence fell as the cats waited, hoping that blood clan would steer clear of their barn. But as a small body pushed through the door, Speckletail recognized Tawnypaw. She burst from her hay with a delighted cry. Tawnypaw, you survived! Tawnypaw winced. She had a light scratch on her shoulder, but the blood had already dried. I didn't like running from battle, but I couldn't let those two-leg place rats find the kits and elders of Tiger Clan waiting to be slaughtered, so I brought them here. A gray tabby poked her side. Slaughtered indeed! I swear, apprentices are growing more rude with every moon! Apprentice, Pebble knows. She's the only one left in the forest now. A darker brown tabby, Stoatfeather, stated solemnly. Unless one from ThunderClan or WindClan survived. Speckletail shook her head sadly, the enormity of their loss crashing over her anew. The gray cat started to say more, but was interrupted by a coughing fit. Speckletail took a step back, but then realized that there was no medicine cat to step forward. What does he have? White cough. I have it too. I don't suppose anyone here knows what to do for it. Mudfur was giving us Colt's foot, Pebblenose spoke up weakly. I don't know if there is any growing near here, though. Speckletail raised her tail authoritatively. Well, we all know the best cure for any illness is rest and food. Rain kit, soot kit, find these elders the warmest, driest part of the barn to sleep in, and gather extra hay for their nests. Everyone else, don't get too close unless you're cleaning them or bringing them food. We don't want to survive the wrath of Blood Clan only to be wiped out by White Cough. 